Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did an incredible job in his first few months as Manchester United manager. In the last few weeks, he's wobbled, basically, since he was confirmed as manager. And I think it's semi a good thing that has happened. Because had United and Solskjaer smashed it the whole way through to the summer, you know that Ed Woodward in the summer would have gone, nothing needs to change. Look how good Solskjaer is doing. But now it's been exposed how much work United have to do this summer in order to catch up with Liverpool and City. But what does need to happen? What is on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's to-do list this summer in order to get Manchester United back up to that level? What I'm going to do in this video is run through what I think has to be on Solskjaer's to-do list. And as always, I want to hear from you and what you think he needs to do this summer. Before I get into it, if you are new to the channel, come on, go down there, hit the subscribe button. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video as well. But let's get straight into it. Now, first on the list, we know this. Solskjaer has to be ruthless this summer in the transfer window, both in the players he's selling and in the players he's signing. He said he will be, and I hope that rings true because Manchester United have to have the best single summer transfer window we have had since Fergie retired if we are going to challenge next year, both in terms of ins and in terms of outs. But in terms of selling a player... The only reason a player should be staying at Manchester United past this summer is if they are the right player for this football club. It's as simple as that. The emotion has to be taken out of the decision. And you've seen with Antonio Valencia not having his contract extended, with Marouane Fellaini being sold within a couple of weeks, really, by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer back in January, that he can make these decisions. And we need to do it. Matteo Damian needs to be sold. Ashley Young needs to be sold. Alexis Sanchez needs to be sold. Marcus Rojo needs to be sold. There are players in this squad which are simply not good enough to be playing for United. And if we are going to compete next year, those players cannot exist still in this squad. United have to be ruthless. And some may say it's harsh with some players like that Solskjaer might want to sell or players that I want to leave. But no, United have had too many passengers for too long. And this really truly has to be the summer where that Deadwood is shifted on. They can go and play in teams elsewhere. But if you're not good enough to play for United, Solskjaer, you need to sell him. And as well as selling the players that aren't good enough to play for United, we need to buy players that are good enough to play for Manchester United. A new fullback, a new central dominant midfielder, a new right winger, a new centre back. We know these positions are essential for United to get right this summer for us to have the quality with inside our squad that will be capable of going up and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool City. Not a team that's just chasing their tail, which is effectively what we have been. And yes, we got into the Champions League quarter-final, but we were praying for a miracle against Barcelona, just like we were praying for a miracle against PSG. And that's because simply the quality of our squad is not elite at the moment. We have elite players dropped in there. We've got Pogba, we've got De Gea. The two, I would say, standout world-class players in this squad. There's, there is class littered elsewhere, but it's not an overall incredible starting eleven. It's certainly strong, but we need that dominant centre-back to lead from the back. We need that dominant midfielder to play alongside Paul Pogba and probably arguably Scott McTominay now in midfield. And we need that right winger, that true right winger, to bring that element to our attack, which doesn't exist at the moment. And certainly we need more quality at fullbacks, which has probably been United's biggest weakness for years. Although you could say the same thing about centre-back. It's as simple as that, though. Sell the players that aren't good enough to play for Manchester United and replace them with truly world-class players and the right signings. I'm not talking about an Ed Woodward marquee signing just because it's a big name. I'm saying the right player in the right position for the right reasons for this club and Solskjaer has to get that right but the weirdly and sort of scary thing about that is that I don't think Solskjaer is capable of getting either of those things right without a sporting director alongside him working in between Ed Woodward and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer being in control of all the not the on the pitch matters but in terms of the footballing matters we don't want Woodward involved in it anymore. It is as simple as that, man. He can't do it. 
It's a big reason United are where we are. It's a big reason why Alexis Sanchez plays for United. And I'm not sure we ever should have signed him. And there's a ton of other players that we've got wrong. But the job is too big for Solskjaer on his own to manage all the footballing matters on and off the pitch at United. We are one of the biggest clubs in the world. I know Fergie did it, but he built his house over two decades. And he knew where everything was. And he was in control of all the decisions. Solskjaer isn't capable now of doing that. There's too many things wrong at United for that to be possible. So we need that sporting director to come in to sit between Woodward and Solskjaer with a footballing brain, making the footballing decisions. We can't have an accountant making those footballing decisions anymore. Woodward, go and sign us a new tyre sponsor in Kazakhstan, but don't be in control of saying who we should sign or being in control of anything to do with the negotiations. That needs to be a sporting director. And please, God, bring one in, United. Or we're fucked. It, we're screwed, unless we get one in. Now, one of the biggest decisions I think that Solskjaer is in charge of is the fact that Manchester United need a new captain. Ashley Young, you shouldn't be wearing the armband for United at any point, let alone now. But United need to get it right. Who is it in this current squad who is capable of being that captain? Paul Pogba? David De Gea? Is there anybody else? I don't know. But I would give that armband to Paul Pogba because United are not going to be selling him. No way. He is the best player in this squad. A World Cup winning midfielder that started in our academy. And you all know my frustrations about Pogba, especially during the international breaks when he goes away, he drip feeds something to the press and all the transfer rumours kick off again. Well, he'll be joining Real Madrid, will he be joining Zidane? No, United won't be selling Pogba. And I think out of all the players in this squad, he is the one that is truly capable of being that leader. We saw it with France in the World Cup with his speeches. Yes, his performances have been on and off at United. And when he's hot, He's incredible. When he's cold, he's frustrating as hell. But for me, Pogba has the most ability out of anybody inside this squad to be a proper captain. And we need leadership. We've got the right leader in Solskjaer as our manager. And we need the right leader on the pitch. And right now, we just don't have it. But for me, that can be Pogba. Mourinho gave him the armband and took it away from him just as quickly. And that made the situation worse between their Tetchi relationship. But I think giving Pogba the armband properly, announce him as the new captain, make a song and dance out of it. He's a player who unfortunately you have to give song and dances to because it massages his ego. But it works. And when he works, he's incredible. So for me, Pogba should be captain next season. But I want to know what you think about that. Some may call me a hypocrite given how much I've slated him about what he says in the press X, Y, Z. But the reality is, he is the best player in this squad. He's the best midfielder in this squad. And that is where our captain should be. For me, right in midfield, so he can control and dominate the whole game, looking forward and looking back. You give a captain's armband to a goalkeeper, he can't really influence the game too much from the back. Pogba should be our midfield leader next year, our captain. I want to know what you think about that. But for me, getting a new captain and getting it right, Big task for Solskjaer next year. And another reason why we need a sporting director to come into this club is, look at the player contract situations. And a Herrera, that's been a balls up. Juan Mata, looks like he's going to be leaving as well. But David De Gea's contract runs out next year. Marcus Rashford's runs out next year. Bailly, his runs out next year. Pogba's runs out in 2021, so does Lingard. We can't become Arsenal. A club... That just dilly dallies, lets players control the power and don't get the player contracts nailed and sorted. It causes too much confusion. It causes too much, in terms of a question mark about a player, whether a player's going to stay or not, it can't happen. So we do need that sporting director again to come in, not only to talk about the players coming into the club and the players going out of the club, but also those player contracts. Keeping the control at United with the club and not with the players because as soon as the players take too much control we're going to get mutiny 
That can't happen at United. And for that not to happen again, a sporting director is essential. And if there's one thing that Solskjaer and this United team need to do between now and the end of the season, it's get that top four position. That's a crucial aspect about all of this. Because without that top four position, next year is Europa League. Next year, can Solskjaer really achieve what he wants to do by just being in the Europa League? United need to be in the Champions League. And if we win every game between now and the end of the season, we will be in the top four. It will be in our hands. But that's a tough ask. You know, we've got tough games as well. We've got Everton. We've got Man City. What will happen? I don't know. But for United to really kick on next year, to properly move forward as a club, we need to be in the Champions League still. Because it might make it more difficult in the summer, but players always come to United. It's just that we'll have to pay more money. But United not in the Champions League next year, that would be a big downer for Solskjaer going into the summer, which is such a crucial summer. So for United to get it right, we've got to finish inside the top four. So when you look at all of that, Solskjaer's got a hell of a summer coming up. It's something he can't do on his own as far as I'm concerned. We need that sporting director to get all the transfers right in and out of the club. But the club have to back Solskjaer as well, give him the right money to get the right players in. Let him sell the players that he doesn't want at the club anymore. And if we can get that top four finish, get that sporting director in, maybe we've got a chance of next year we can truly move forward as a football club because I don't think we can unless we have all of that. But I'd be interested to hear what you think. Who or what do United need to do? What is on Solskjaer's to-do list to get next year right at this club? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. If you're still here and you're new, make sure you go down there as well. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, though, take it easy.